$33,000 of stolen rare coins. Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. It feels so good to be back on YouTube. Took a few days off because I was sick, but that's beside the point. Let's just hop into this video. Today, we're going to be talking about $33,000 of stolen rare coins. However, we're also going to be checking all the enders of my six boxes of half dollars that we're using for the coin roll hunting live streams. So you see all the boxes are opened. I've already found that proof coin, but I have not got them out of the box, and that's what we're going to do in this video as well. All right, so this is crazy. This guy right here, I know we always, you know, make some bad decisions in our life sometimes, but this is a big one. So this Florida man that was arrested in Palm Beach County stole some rare coins, some collectible coins that were worth tens of thousands of dollars. And not only that, this guy had enough guts to take these and cash them in to a coin star machine at a local business. Congratulations. You played yourself. Could you imagine cashing in like a $5,000 coin and only getting its face value of like a dollar or 50 cents or something? That is insane. But he also did get a lot of coins that were graded coins. I believe they were presidential dollar commemorative coins and he sold those coins. So this guy obviously didn't know what a lot of these coins were actually worth considering the fact that he took them to a freaking coin star machine. Now of course, this guy was also charged with grand theft along with unrelated drug charges. Kids, do not do drugs. Do you guys not remember seeing this guy in elementary school? I don't know, did the D.A.R.E. program come after this guy was already out of school? I don't know, but I always look back to this. Teaching students decision making right here for safe and healthy living. It's D.A.R.E. folks. D, I won't do drugs. A, won't have an attitude. R, I will respect myself. E, I will educate me. This guy obviously did not follow those rules. I wonder what he spent all this money on anyways. Pizza, alcohol, who knows? But I would love to have all the coins that this guy actually stole and well now he's gonna end up in jail or probably prison at this point. So the moral of the story is do not do drugs, do not steal. There's so many ways that you can make money in today, 2019. You can be an Uber driver. You can do YouTube, make money off YouTube. You can sell stuff, offer up, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay, all those places. Such simple ways to buy stuff, flip it on those platforms. There's so many ways to make money out there. Do not steal. So I hope this guy gets the help that he needs, goes through the process of you know paying for his criminal stuff, and uh, hopefully when he gets out, he'll change his life around. That'd be a great story for him but for now let's go check out these half dollar coins all right like i said guys we already got the proof right here the proof baby now i think i don't know who this is going to go to we actually do already have a donation that was from last live stream so that might go to them but we're also going to be looking for any silver any more proof enders anything like that so let's go we got six boxes baby all right so here we go I'm gonna see if we can get any NIFCs. If you guys are not familiar with NIFCs, they are 2002 on up for the Kennedy half dollars. Those are gonna be lower mintage coins, so you always wanna hold on to those as well. And also, ooh, look at that one. That one's disgusting. All right, and also don't forget to go check out couchcollectibles.com. We got all new products on the store. We're gonna be adding some more products very, very soon. This one looks like an NIFC right here. Yeah, it's 1995. All right, so let's keep on going here. Yeah, go check out couchcollectibles.com. We got coin microscopes available on there as well so you guys can see your coins up close. And uh, yeah, we gotta find that silver, baby. And of course, we're gonna be doing coin roll hunting live stream this weekend, so make sure you guys press the bell. That way it can notify you when I go live on my channel and uh, you guys can get into the live stream. It's always gonna be 8.30 p.m. Eastern time on Sundays. Now we might do a live stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We might do three days in a row. We might do two days in a row. You never know. That's why you gotta press that bell on my channel. And also if you guys wanna send coin pictures to my channel, all you gotta do is press the blue join button. The blue join button and you guys can join a membership. It's five bucks a month. You can cancel at any time. So if you just want it for one month, you can um, do that. Get it for one month. And you can also cancel, like I said, and you'll be able to send coin pictures to my email. That one looks like it could be an NIFC. I don't know, maybe we'll have to see when we open it on the live stream. Uh, what else do we got going on this week? Sorry I was sick for a few days. So glad that uh, I'm getting over it. I think I'm almost fully uh, recovered. My nose is still running a little bit. 
But uh, I got over that finally, that cold, man. And it was, uh, ugh. It had me down for a few days. Like, man, it was so hard to get anything done. So thank you guys for your patience on uh, on that. I really appreciate you guys and all the positive comments that you guys left. Thank you guys so much. That is awesome. Now, just because there's no silver enders on here doesn't mean that there's not going to be silver inside, of course. Uh, we've been finding from this bank that we got, we've been finding like franklin half dollars from this bank for some reason not sure why but uh i don't know <laughs> we had a little franklin dollar run there for a little bit that was uh pretty weird and strange but i'm not complaining if we keep on finding franklin's that is an awesome thing for the live streams and uh, of course it goes to the people who get the rolls on the live streams so this is what three thousand dollars in coins look like now like i said here is that proof coin check that out man can you tell the difference of that mirror like finish compared to a business strike such an awesome coin cannot wait to open it up and see if it's actually a silver proof that would be amazing so let's put that over there all these coins are mixed up so i'm just gonna throw them back in the box when we're done oh that one might be an nifc too never know never know it's got that back that kind of looks newer all right, so here we go, here we go, here we go. What else do we got going on? Ooh, that might be, I don't think it is, but it could possibly be 40% silver. Maybe not. I don't think it is, but it could possibly be a 40% silver. All right, let's keep on going, let's keep on going here. Ooh, that one there looks like a NIFC, baby. I can't see the date, but I think it's like 2010. It's definitely an NIFC. So this box right here is pretty good. We'll definitely open this one first up on the live stream coming up. And don't forget to go check out my community tab on my channel. If you go to my channel, click on community. You guys will uh, be able to see updates on there. You guys can vote on stuff for the channel. All the stuff that you guys say, I'm definitely taking into consideration. Videos that you guys want me to make. I've already been working on some of the videos behind the scenes. Uh, I'm trying to make all my videos for the rest of the year and under two months so that is going to be very very challenging but it's going to be very very fun as well all right here we go again let's see if we can fast forward through this one boom 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 all right all right not seeing any silver enders yet but man we just got that one proof so that is a good sign a little bit for that box. But who knows what could be in these boxes, guys. If you watch the live streams, you'll know that sometimes we find tons of silver. Sometimes you don't find nothing. But uh, you always, you, usually you always find a little bit of something, at least NIFC approved, uh, maybe one 40% silver. But we got six boxes, so hopefully we find a lot more than that. I'm gonna put these back in this box when I lift them up here. All right, not seeing any silver here and you guys can do the same exact thing just go to your bank ask them to order you some half dollars and i think we found another nifc right here let's see 2003 baby nifc right there 2003 put that back in there so someone will definitely get that and like i said go to the bank just ask them if you can order if they can order you some half dollar boxes our rolls, it should be able to do that. Uh, we got one more box here. If you guys got any ideas for videos, leave them in the comments below. I would definitely consider doing a video on anything that you guys suggest that's coin or collectible related. Yeah, so I appreciate that. All right, look at this one, this one. Ooh, check that out, 1971. All right, let's keep on going here. We only got the bottom part of this box here. We will be finished. So out of six boxes, I did not find any silver enders. We just found that proof ender. This is gonna be a lot to search through, so hopefully we find some good stuff in these rolls. And we found a couple NIFCs, so can't forget about that. It's always a good sign. All right, and... It looks like it might be it. All right. Can't forget to give a huge shout out to my boy Ryan Perry for giving me the ideal to do this video on the $33,000 rare coins. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the message on Facebook. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. Don't forget to go watch my other videos. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.